The following tutorial is part of a full-length course on setting up a WordPress site with the customizer theme. If you're interested in setting up a beautiful, mobile responsive site with a slider, social media sharing, video embedding, an email sign-up form, and much, much more, sign up for my free course below. Hit the link below to register for the course at danielboudreaulive.com. Now let's get to the tutorial. This video is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Click the Show More button below this video to get access to a free domain and $1 a month hosting from GoDaddy. Okay, let's talk about comments in your blog posts. So I'm going to go uh, to one of my pages here and show you what the comment section looks like. So it's in the blog section and at the end of every blog we have a section that's devoted to comments. Now, if you're the administrator and you're logged into your WordPress dashboard, it's going to look like this. But if you're not logged into your site, it's going to look like this page. So I've got, this is actually a comment that I left just to show you how, how it's done. But basically you'll have your comment section, your name and email, which is required and your website, which is optional. And then you can post the comment, but this comment has to be approved before it actually shows up. So I'll show you where uh, all these, uh, how to change all these settings. Let's head back to the dashboard and we're going to go to settings and under settings, we're going to find discussion. Now by default, you're going to have a comment section on every new blog post. And in this section, uh, WordPress refers to them as articles, but they're the same thing. So here it says allow people to post comments on new articles. That's checked. So you're going to have that option on every new blog post. Now you can check or uncheck that. We'll leave it checked. And the other thing that's of interest here is that uh, the comment by author must have previously approved comment. So in order for a comment to appear automatically, that, that author of the comment uh, must have had a, 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 an approved comment previously. So we'll leave that checked because it's a, it's a way to filter out the, the spam on your website. You could have a lot of uh, people just posting on your comment section because they want to sell some, some crazy thing or they just want to get your money. So, <laughs> so uh, leave that checked. Uh, if you've made any changes, go down to here and click your sh save changes. We haven't made any changes here, so we're going to go to comment. Now I have a, a, a number one showing here. So that means I have one new comment that needs to be addressed because I, I left it on my own site through this other browser. So um, let me show you what I mean here. So I was, I was logged into Chrome. Um, Google Chrome, another browser. This one is Safari. So if you're logged, if you're using another browser, that browser can't tell that you're you're logged in as ad, an administrator on the other browser. So I'm logged in as an administrator on Safari. I'm not logged in on Google Chrome. So that's that's kind of a way to test out different things. So I left a comment here on Google Chrome, and it shows up here on the Safari. So this is the comment section. And here I have the comment. I love your article. Very informative. I will take your advice. That's what I wrote. And I can approve this reply, do a quick edit, edit or send it to the spam section or trash it. So here I'm going to choose to approve it. And then I can go to visit my site and go see my blog. Go see that blog post. And here I've got one new comment. Great. So uh, another thing I wanted to show you is that you can override the settings in every individual post. So you can go to your, um, let's say, let's say we went to this one, this image gallery post we did, go to edit that one. And since it's an image gallery, maybe we don't want any, any comments on that one. So we don't see the option to override the, 
the comment settings, the discussion settings rather, in this sidebar here. So with every blog post page, you have the option, you have more screen options than what's displayed here. So here, this, these are the ones that are displayed and you have all of these that can also uh, be customized. So here what uh, concerns us is discussion. So we'll check that and it appears here. And this is the override, the way to override that uh, setting that we set uh, in here in settings and discussion. So we can set our settings for every individual play page. So here we're going to un uncheck this and save this page. In other words, update it. Okay, now we're going to view this post. And we'll see that there is no comment section for this individual post. So that's the way to customize your comment section for every individual post or globally for the entirety of your WordPress site. All right, see you in the next video. Here's a special message for anyone looking to gain an online presence by creating a website, but can't follow a clear path to get established on the web and get results. Hi, my name is Daniel Boudreau, and if you want to succeed with WordPress, then you'll probably be interested in what I have to share with you in a second. Many people looking to gain an online presence suffer from the idea that you need to be tech savvy or have coding knowledge to build websites, but nothing can be further from the truth. And if you're a person who wants to create their dream personal or business website, then this is exactly what you're looking for. I'd like to introduce you to my video training course called Customizer, Learn WordPress with the Ultimate Creative Theme. In this course, I'll teach you how to create a fully functional and mobile responsive site with no details left out. I'll almost be holding you by the hand with every step forward. My course makes it simple for you to get your mobile responsive site online with no coding required. You'll be able to leverage the internet to show your product or service while staying in complete control. Work with a theme that runs 100,000 plus websites and has 96% 4.5 to 5 star reviews. You can get help with Customizer's expansive knowledge base and start building your WordPress site with a free theme that rivals any premium theme. What makes this even better? After going through this course, you'll have the confidence to create any website using the Customizer theme, which also means that you won't be stuck feeling like you're putting off getting an online presence that showcases your product or service. And best of all, you'll start seeing results with the Customizer course in less than a week, and it's absolutely free. So again, if you're a person who wants to create their dream personal or business site, understand this. You need a way to quickly get a fully functional mobile responsive site online. Your own unique website is the number one way to create instant credibility. You'll get access to all the videos of the course in a focused environment and you won't have to go combing through outdated videos on YouTube and try to piece a website together by yourself. My WordPress Customizer course holds the key to your success with WordPress. Hit the link below to sign up and get instant access to my 100% free course. Take care and see you on the inside.